Llama 4 just dropped and we've got two models out. One sounds like it's in the cooker and will be coming out soon. And there is some hints of newer models that will be in the pipeline soon. So this is the latest release from Meta AI. And while I typically do actually run through the review test set at the same time, I have not been approved yet on Hugging Face to download the model, so I can't do that yet for you. I'm gonna take you through all of the current state of the open source runners that are out there so you can host it locally. We'll also talk about some theoreticals about the number of GPUs one might need to be able to run this pretty massive model set. And we'll look at some of the initial receptivity. There's some people running it on uh, various platforms out there and they've got some feedback. So we'll check out what Local Llama has to say on this also. But first, let's take a look at kind of the news of the launch here. Very interesting Saturday launch. Uh, I wonder how developers feel about working on their Saturday is <laughs> a good question because it looks like I, I can see there's a lot of developers working out there in different community projects. So they have Llama 4 Maverick, that's a 400B parameter and Llama 4 Scout, 109B parameter out today. And those both are mixture of experts with 17 billion active parameters. And those also have different levels of numbers of experts. We'll get to that in just a second here. So they're saying this is a state of the art model. So some of the features and integrations, of course, Hugging Face is going to be probably the first people out there with their Transformers architecture. And like I mentioned, you can sign up for this. And I signed up a little bit ago and it uh, still has not been approved. Last time I signed up, it took a while and it has been rejected by the repos authors. Ouch. You know, and I put down Digital Spaceport and that I was reviewing it. And so that hurts. And honestly, that's going to hurt them also, because that means that's not very friendly to do to people that are out there in the community who are interested in reviewing things. So I'm glad to actually to catch that in this video. Sometimes you don't see that. My, uh, my score of negativity has already increased substantially as a result of that. That really sucks. So I guess I will not be downloading this from Hugging Face. And uh, as a result of that, my bitterness, I'm going to try to curtail. I'm going to, I'm going to try to bottle it up inside. I hear that's healthy. Actually, I'm going to try to not let it affect me. So they do have the 16 uh, experts and the 128 experts in the two different models reflected in the amount of information that is stored in them and also hopefully positively correlated to the receptivity of them and what they are able to produce as far as quality output. We have Llama 4 Scout, and that is a 17 billion, 16 experts, and 109 total parameters with a 10 million context length. That right there is the thing that is insane. That context length is like a forever context length almost. So that is something that is cutting edge. There is something that's happened here that has enabled this to be very, very long context length. That also, unfortunately, as you grow your context length, is going to grow your RAM, VRAM requirements quite substantially. Next, we have the Maverick, and that is at 1 million context length, and that has 128 experts. Then after that, we've got the Behemoth, which is a 2 trillion parameter model. So skipping 1 trillion, going right to 2 trillion here. And this is going to be pretty crazy. It looks like it is uh, built for distillation purposes. And there is hints of a reasoning model coming out here here pretty soon, hopefully, from them. And they do cite some numbers. Again, these numbers that I see cited in every artificial benchmark I put with a basically they don't matter to me. Maybe they matter to you. Let me know in the comments below. And while you're down there, be sure to hit like and subscribe and consider joining as a member if you enjoy this kind of content. And thank you to our current channel members. I make sure to answer your questions, especially in the replies. So yeah, it looks like the Llama ecosystem has grown. And it's interesting because it was about a year ago that I got really, really interested with Llama 3.1. And it was just such a great jump forward in quality that I was like, you know, this is not bad in the home user open source front now. This is actually really kind of competitive with what we were seeing from ChatGPT at the time. So of course we have Claude Sauna out there, Gemini uh, 2.0. Currently my daily driver is Gemma 3 27B. And that is with a pretty scaled down context window because I can't fit that much uh, 128K in. So definitely if I'm looking at millions of context window, definitely not gonna be able to fit that in. So you're gonna be able to scale it down, I'm sure. And hopefully it has an intelligent manner of handling that and communicating that and knowing when it is approaching its end. I did see that there was something called iRope, which is interactive roping. So hopefully that will allow the reasoning and the, uh, 
uh, the propagation of tokens to happen a little bit more intelligently in Llama 4. That could be a state-of-the-art kind of revolutionary thing as well. They go through a lot of information. You can find all these links in the comments and description below. So if you're like me, though, and especially now uh, with me getting denied on Hugging Face, probably going to have to wait for it to come out on something like Olama. And so far, not seeing it on Olama. And you definitely can sometimes do a search. So Llama 4. Okay, so there are some people out there working, it looks like, on a Llama 4. No models have been pushed yet, though. So they're, this Hero64 guy is uh, looking like he's going to be pushing something eventually. As well, I would say that if you go to the pull request, you can see an open pull request, which is for Llama 4 multimodal. Like I mentioned, people working on their Saturdays. And thank you to you community developers and open source developers working on a Saturday so that people can eventually get this, hopefully maybe Sunday or possibly maybe later tonight, doubtfully later tonight, or possibly just in the next couple of days. That's probably going to be the most likely is in the next couple of days. Um, but yeah, you can see that they're working on it here, have had some things happen in the past couple of hours. Uh, as far as where we're at on VLLM, that's the one that I had kind of the most hope for uh, day one support being ready to go right off the bat. And it did look like there was a specific one that was ready to go in the uh, Hugging Face Transformers that was VLLM, but uh, of course being rejected there, not going to be able to test that out for anybody here. So it kind of stinks a little bit. But yeah, this person here, House Road, looks like they're working on their VLLM open pull request here on this one also. So hopefully this can get rectified. It looks like there's a lot of work that's happened on this. So stuff happening behind the scenes to get you up and running locally. Definitely they have some information that is shocking as far as the amount of VRAM that you might consider. But I do expect there to be quant versions of this and those quant versions to be I would, uh, I would hope pretty performant. There are some architectural changes, it looks like, so there will be some work and effort that goes into making that happen. It's not exactly the same architecture, it looks like, as Llama 3.3. Also checking out GGML uh, with uh, Llama C++. C++. It looks like there's nothing out there that's happening yet for this one. There is a open uh, request for it to happen, but it's going to take some time for the open source to catch up and be able to get this running. And certainly, although some people have been testing this out and playing around with it over on our local Llama, a great place to find out what is kind of cutting edge and what people are up to. But definitely, um, people are saying some disappointing results in their early testing. I can't test it myself yet, so I won't be able to give you that information, unfortunately. But some people talking about the uh, they had a Python hexagon test fail. So the kind of balls bouncing, that one sounds like it failed out here. Uh, some UI tests here for creation. It looks like it failed out from that user. And we also have uh, possibly, you know, a llama for reasoning because the holding page is up. But yeah, I thought this was interesting. I really was hoping to get approved there. And unfortunately, without getting approved for that, I, I don't know exactly when I'll be able to access it. I'm going to be at the waiting on the behest of others for that to happen. And let me know if you got your request rejected also. And you know, I actually have a legal business name and a Digital Spaceport is a legal business entity and everything. So it is surprising a little bit, but at the same time, I mean, they did approve me for Llama 3.3. And uh, so I don't know. Uh, kind of interesting. Let me know what you guys are expecting here. I'm tempering my expectations. I've seen the price per token be very competitively priced so far for this on like uh, the open uh, router markets and stuff like that from different third party providers. So I don't think they're pricing this as a premium, which is interesting uh, because I mean, certainly Claude and ChatGPT, if they're trying to compete with that, are they going to be able to? It's always a good question. Will they be able to compete with Quinn 3, which is out soon? Will they be able to keep up with DeepSeek R2, which is probably out pretty soon also? The competition in open source is getting really heated up. I think a lot of people, myself included, kind of view Meta as one of the leaders in the, you know, what's moving forward, what's happening for the United States' open source movement, it seems like it is the biggest company. Tell me if I'm wrong. Also, tell me some other great companies to check out because I need to diversify out my laminus into other com companies that have open source software, especially things that do not have commercial reuse and review restrictions and stuff like that. I prefer those. But it definitely, if you look overseas, what's coming out of China, 
they are they are killing it right now. And will this? I mean, we need a fairly strong showing from Llama Four here. Will this live up to what it needs to to be able to hold pace or to be able to advance? Definitely the 10 million context window. If you have that much VRAM, holy cow, you've got yourself something insanely amazing right there. But uh, you know. I struggle with usually getting 64 on mid-size models to run. I usually have to revert down to like 16 to 32 if I'm on large size models. And that's on four 3090s on the quad rig. I will for sure keep you up to date as soon as I'm able to run it locally. Maybe an Unsloth thing comes out. That, that sometimes happens also. But Unsloth usually pulls from Hugging Face. Hmm. Interesting times. Interesting times indeed. So I'm looking forward to seeing what comes out next. Let me know what your expectations or lack of expectations are. Certainly, uh, the local llama people seem to not be uh, feeling like this is going to have a good receptivity and there's some questioning of those numbers again. Let me know what your expectations are and what you like to see in the numbers. Or do you care about the numbers? I honestly care more about what it's like for a normie experience for somebody like me that might consider integrating it into their home set up for AI. I think that's pretty important out there. Everybody have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time.